Hello and welcome to the Excited Wanderer channel. Today's episode is all about the best things to do in Korea's Incheon Airport. If you're looking for a place to get a quick nap, then you're in luck because there are plenty of rest areas where you can unwind before continuing on your journey. You can find these rest areas scattered across the concourse and also in Terminals 1 and 2. Plus, they are free to use for as long as you please. Showers are also available and no, they are not inside one of those expensive airport lounges. In fact, there are showers in every terminal and they are free to use if you are transiting across Incheon. Otherwise, it will cost 3,000 won per person. There's also a digital gym where you exercise using digital screens and devices. And of course, a kid zone for little ones to burn off all that excess energy. There is also a free transfer service where a guide will meet you when you arrive to the airport who will then take you to your next gate as quickly as possible. This is going to be a lifesaver if your previous flight was delayed and your next flight is just minutes away from leaving without you. Plus, if it's your first time in Incheon Airport, you don't want to waste time having to orient yourself first. To use the service, you need to first make an online reservation on their website. The link's in the description box below. Now, if you're on a really long transit, why not take a free transit tour and visit the city? The registration desks for the tours are in Terminals 1 and 2. So if you arrive at the concourse, you'll need to first take the shuttle train at the basement to reach either terminals. You can also make your reservation online on their website to reserve your seat. You'll find the link in the description box below as usual. Now there are many many tour options to choose from and I think it will suit just about any type of traveler. For example, shopaholics can choose to take the shopping tour where they will be taken to Myeongdong and Namdaemun Market, two of the most popular shopping districts in Seoul. You'll have 5 hours in total to enjoy the latest fashion trends of Korea and its wide variety of street food. However, if you're more interested in culture and history, then you can take the tour of Gyeongbokgung Palace and Insadong. The palace was first built in the year 1395 and is steeped in history and cultural influence, while Insadong is a neighborhood filled with antique shops, art galleries, and traditional tea houses. And hey, there's even a tour for K-pop lovers which focuses on Mangwon Market and Hongdae Street. The latter being a hotspot for Korean youth culture like cafes, clubs, fashion streets, and more. For a full list of all of the different tours that you can choose from, please check the link in the description below. Now, being a world-class airport, there are even a few daily performances in Incheon Airport that you should not miss. Number 1, we have the changing of the Royal Guard. This ceremony takes place every 2 hours starting from 12pm to 4pm and will be right in front of the Korean Traditional Cultural Experience Center in the 3rd floor of Terminal 2. If you are planning to visit one of the palaces in Seoul to see their changing of the guards, then you can actually check this one right off your list early. There is also the Node Garden Cultural Performance. Also in Terminal 2, there are two performances of traditional Korean music, which begins from 11.30 in the morning to the last performance at 5pm. And finally, there's the Walk of the Royal Family. Now this is surely the most popular performance as the royal family of the kings and queens of the Joseon dynasty are faithfully recreated. There's plenty of opportunities for photos and you might even get a selfie or two with the models who will be wearing full traditional royal costumes and accessories. For more info on the other different performances that are available in the airport and their time slots, be sure to check the link in the description box below. If you're there, you should meet Airstar. Airstar is a helpful robot which will give you plenty of helpful information like how to navigate the airport and where to find your check-in counters. 
If you give it your flight number, it will actually guide you to your gate. But if you want to get some last minute shopping done first, that's okay too. You can even pose in front of Airstar and ask it to take a photo of you. Then if you'd like to keep that photo, you can enter your email address and the robot will send the photo there. There are 8 robots in each terminal and they all support 4 languages which are English, Chinese, Japanese and Korean. Incheon Airport is the first airport in the world to fully use these guide robots so make sure you stop to say hi and check out its amazing features. What are your thoughts on this airport? Share it in the comments below and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode.